Hey, what is going on, MLB family? We are here. And finally, I mean, there's a good way here. There's a good way to get some diamonds in this game. And I'm not I'm not saying they're free, right? I'm not going to tell you the guys are free. That's a lie. But the Team Affinity cards, um, you know, at 50% or whatnot, you get a diamond. Now, some of these diamonds are really good. Some of them aren't. Uh, based on just how the game plays, but there's a lot of these that, like, they could make pretty much most people's teams, you know, like, Brescia, not exactly enticing, but, like, for someone, the Mets, Jose Reyes, this card last year, if you guys remember, he came out with a suit, with a, uh, equipment collection that cost well over 100k, and a lot of people were just willing to do it, and, because we all know how good Jose Reyes plays in the game, and he does play well. But you can get them with doing Team Affinity. Now, you can play March to October. You can play March to October. And if you beat it on Hall of Fame or higher, psh, bam, that's 50% right there. But it does take 12 hours. And, of course, you would have to win. So there's obviously a risk that you don't win it. Or if you have to go through it twice, you do go through it twice. And the innings here, they don't count in March to October. It's kind of disappointing. If they did... Well, I'd probably do that method. So what I've been doing instead, and you're going to follow along here. It's pretty simple. If you do these three exchange sets, that's 45, right? So if you do 45 and then you get 250 innings with a team, that's 50. But CC, 250 innings. 250 innings is not a lot. If you load it up with a team full of say, Mets, just like this. You go into a play versus CPU game, real simple. And what I do then is to make those games go fast. I'm not trying to get hits. I'm not trying to score. I'm not even trying to win the game. Uh, but if you go into presentation options, uh, you can see that a lot of this stuff, you can make go quicker, you know, change the camera frequency, right? Turn the batter walk up off. These are little things that go on there. Additionally, if you go into pitching, uh, where is it? Where is it? Pitch delay. You go to faster. Psh, the pitcher's going to pitch the ball faster every time. So you're going to save some time doing that, okay? Additionally, what I will do is when I get into a game, I change my pitching type to classic, okay? So I just got to hit X over and over mindlessly doing it if you want to be more engaged when you're batting just go up there hold triangle and bunt every play it doesn't matter if you hit the ball get out whatever if you don't want to be engaged you don't got to do anything when you're up to bat they'll get you out eventually it's fine i was able to play one of these games with focus in about 22 to 25 minutes it seemed to be about the average uh using this method uh which means so that in an hour to an hour and a half's time you will have accomplished the 250 innings needed. Plus, you actually get stars for first inning program. Plus, you just get XP as well. So it's not a waste at all. So you're gonna, that's how you get the five innings. How do you then do the exchanges? The best possible way. Now, you could just exchange random cards that you have in your binder. Uh, sure. Sure. Um, so what you'll notice is every team has cards you can exchange from their division or essentially like it's a rival. For, so, like for here, uh, the Pirates, you can do the Cubs, Reds, Brewers, Cardinals, or the Tigers. Having to exchange commons and bronzes, um, it's not the move. They sell for too much. They don't give enough exchange value. Uh, it's just the way it is. Silvers, even, don't really give you the exchange value that you need. Now, we know here that 79 gives you 47.75, and 80 gives you 60.37, 81, 76.55, 82, 97.37, 83, 12, 425, and 84, 15.909. The way that you do this, and what I have done the best way, is through Legends and Flashbacks. So, for the Mets, uh, the Braves... And all those other teams uh, in the division that didn't really have anyone 
uh, that stood out. But instead, I went out. Tanaka is super cheap. He's an 81, so he gives me 7655 If I For me to get to 100000 by putting in buy orders at 1100 costs me 14369 But I need 190000 uh, so then you're talking um, 26,000 stubs for Jose Reyes, which is about 100k cheaper than people were willing to pay last year. So that's what you'll want to do and go find out and see. So like right now, psh, you could just buy that. Tanaka, Tanaka, Tanaka goes up constantly, constantly. Some of the other teams and sets that I did were based on 83s and 84s. So this Kyle Hendricks. If you want to do someone who can take Cubs players, you can put him in here. He's an 84. If you put buy orders in and you can get him for around 1600 that's going to take your 100000 cost to 10000 stubs, then making it 19000 stubs. You can just do the math that way. But it's pretty cheap. It's pretty simple. Um, so the following sort of price points are what I had marked out as a good range. Uh, starting at 81 1100 stubs if you can get a card for that uh it's perfect let's go back to the filter here uh and let's just start out with uh max of 84 low of 81 to show you guys a couple cards that do stand out so at 81s i'm wanting to put in buy orders of about 1100 so then you could start this david price ben attendee you darvish could do it tommy fam pretty well there uh Brad Hand, Kirby Yates, Rosario. Those cards all fall right into that range. Now for the 81s, their flashback cards aren't exactly the cheapest, so you're probably not going to be using those, except for Jimmy Fox. Jimmy Fox you can get pretty cheap. He doesn't come out of packs uh, seemingly as fast, so if you're putting in buyers for him, it might take you a little longer, but that's just the way it is. Uh, but again, we see Tanaka right there. As we get to 82s, the price point that you can really try to find sometimes is 1400 It can be tough, so you might actually end up having to go 1600 And if you get a 1600 price point, it's going to cost you 16000 stubs per 100 k exchange. So Xander Bogart you could get for cheaper. Corbin, you could probably get some of him. Granky, right there, no problem. But the 82s are a little bit harder. Bumgarner even... Right, but what you'll see here is in some there's some 83s, which is our next step up, which you can actually with patience and time depending on the time of day, you can get those for around 1600 as well. Eckersley, uh, Bly Levin sitting here, Oliver Prez drops down under 1600 quite a bit. Uh, Axford does drop, Johnny Bench does drop there. So that's where we're looking at 83s. It's, it's a good value. In 84s, you can actually get cards right around the same price. That's Rick Porcello. It's 1700 1600 for mini right here. Uh, and then this Michael Pineda card. We see his price is up right now, but I bought a ton of him for that. Uh, so I want to go through the completed orders. Guys, when I say I sell a ton of stuff and this is how I grind, tell, you can look at it and tell me that I'm not. So we see here Oliver Prez, buyers at 1450, Jimmy Fox at 1100, Tanaka at 1100, uh, Oliver Prez, Kyle Hendricks. Uh, I believe we got a lot more here. Hendricks, Perez, Tanaka, Pineda was able to get him at 1800 a lot. So if you just pay attention, if you put the buyers in there, if you're willing to be patient and wait, you can make it work. You can obviously sell the cards back or. Honestly, a lot of times the cards actually have a good enough uh, price range where if you happen to not do the set, you could flip them. Um, you could make some stubs on them. Not always a lot, but you could. Like Babe Ruth right now, you could flip him, no problem. Jimmy Fox, you could still flip. It's only going to be a 100 or 200 stubs, but nonetheless, you can make some stubs on these cards. Real simple. Anytime you guys are looking at how to flip and play the market in MLB, it really is quite simple. You take a look at the price gap right here, and you look at at least a 10% difference, that's going to be your break-even point. But most times, we don't want to invest in stubs just to break even. That doesn't make any sense. 
So what I like to look at is at least a 5 to 10% profit range minimum. So I'm looking at 15% gap right here. So I know here Catfish Hunter is a perfect example. If I could buy one for $61.45 and sell it for $72.75, it's 1,100 stubs right there. Uh, and I'm going to be losing... Uh, right, 1100 stubs profit, and then you take the tax. Uh, so you're looking at four or 500 stubs. It's not a ton of profit, but it does add up over time if you can do it over and over and over and over with little sort of risk. A better risk right here is Benito Santiago, right? It just is. You can make 500 stubs on him, flip, 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 flip. But again, pay attention to the market where it's going, know what you bought the cards at. Use your completed orders to your advantage to know how deep or how far you've gone in on certain cards. It's just the best way to do it. Um, so this is what I'm doing for Team Infinity cards. Uh, I played with some of the Live Series cards. I just didn't really like the way they played. So I wanted to get some of these other cards that I know that I've enjoyed in the past. Um, you know, if you wanted Bob Gibson, psh, good picture. That 85 Bob Gibson did real work last year. I think the best one maybe to do is Juan Marshall here. It's a really good card, and his release is really hard to hit. So here we're looking at, let's just look at these teams. We'll just walk through this. So right now you could get Granky, bam, and you could put the orders in for him, or Santiago. Santiago's expensive, though, but Granky for an 82 uh, is probably the move. Jimmy Fox you could do as well. So Grinky and Jimmy Fox is who I would want to do for the Giants. So let's take a look at those, and let's see exactly what this would cost us right now. Um, who was it? Grinky. So an 82, uh, you could put in your buy orders at, you know, just 15.25, 15.50, and you'd be able to actually get Marshall for 30,000 coins that way, which is not bad. It's not bad, considering how much he would normally cost. Especially if he was on the market. Jimmy Fox is an 81. He's going to be the cheaper option. Uh, so if I wanted to get him, I would just pop in a bunch of orders at, say, 1050. People who would sell it for 1050, it's just weird. That's why I like to do 1100 on these ones, because you're going to be able to actually get a lot. But just pop in as many orders as you think you need, right? If you need 190,000... And you have 7,600. I happen to, uh, I own a calculator. Uh, so you'd need to buy, uh, it's, it's 290,000. Let's just make sure that it's the most proper it could be, right? So 190 divided by, what is it, 7,655, 24, 25 of them, give or take, and you would have. Juan Marshall, essentially. Look, people are people are buying these already. You know, people are selling them to us. So if I do that, and then I say, okay, if I'm buying these at 1,050 coins or stubs, whatever it's called, it's 26,000 stubs, uh, and we get a really good, as we see, like the order there, popped up, completed. I'm okay with doing this. It costs me an hour of my time and 26,000 stubs which is fine. Uh, I get a really good card. And don't forget, you also get things along the way. Um, let's put some more buyers. Might as well, right? While we sit here. But along the way, through the Affinity program as well, up to the 50%, you do get some other rewards. And I want to show you guys that quickly and to talk about that quickly as well. I think that's important. Because uh, some people may not have done them. So the icon and nameplate you get... You can't sell them. You can't quick sell them. There's nothing you can do. At this rate, you're going to get a, a set of stubs. It does range. We see the Mets was 750. Uh, I believe the Mariners was was a thousand. Some of them are a little more. Some of them are a little less. Just the way it is. Additionally, what happens is you're going to get these two cards, these lower level cards at 10 and 25. What do those do? Well, you may not think you want those cards or do anything with them, and that's fair. Maybe they don't make your team. Maybe they help you in events and stuff. But you can go into the Legends and Flashback sets, and then you can actually collect those cards here as well um, and do the same thing with the other cards. Like the Nolan Ryan we got from the Mets. We locked him in there. We only need five postseason cards. 
for 2,500 XP and five packs. I could make that happen with these bottom five. Pretty simple. Really, really quite simple because some of these other cards are, they're not attainable that way. And then you can get some XP, you can get some packs. I think some of them even offer stubs, if I'm not mistaken. Low-level stubs there. Five packs for here. You're not going to be able to complete this in a day, but it is still something that you can work towards and grind towards. This is a very grindy game. I'm okay with grinding, and you guys should be too. If it means that I can save some time and get the players I want and not spend, I mean, Jesus, 12 to 15 hours playing March to October... Um, while working on my first inning program, while boosting my XP, like that sounds pretty good. I'll take that all day, every day. So keep in mind, if you guys want to do this, by all means do this. I would appreciate it if you uh, enjoyed the video, whether you do it or not. You hit the like button. If you are new to the channel, you hit the subscribe button. That's kind of awesome. And if you guys want to be like super amazing, you can share the video. Nobody ever talks about sharing the video. You can share the video. Why, why wouldn't you share the video? Sharing videos is amazing. It's an awesome thing to do. So, I mean, I've got some grind games to play still. Um, and I'll, I'll get them done. You know, it is what it is. We've got Jay Buner. He's the first one I did. Uh, right here. Bam. It's a pretty good card. Not very fast, but it's a pretty good card. It's a lot cheaper than going out and buying uh, Yellick or someone like that who I feel like he might be extinct right now. Is he extinct? Yeah, I think I sold mine earlier this week for way less than that. It is what it is. Uh, that's the video. A lot of talking, a lot of information. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for your time. I'm out.